Hey folks, Crimson Blaze here. Welcome to the channel. Today I am on the road headed to California to begin the most difficult and challenging backpacking adventure of my entire life. I'm through hiking the John Muir Trail. Let's get to it. As you may or may not know, the John Muir Trail is a 211 mile stretch between Yosemite National Park and Mount Whitney which is the tallest mountain in the lower 48. And I've always heard about how beautiful and majestic this trail was. I've seen the YouTube videos and it's always looked just stunning. But for me, you know, I've always just been a, a regular weekend warrior backpacker. You know, I've backpacked three, maybe four days for, for most of my life. And just as of recently, you know, backpacked for maybe over the course of a week. Um, I've never really thought about through hiking any type of long distance trail. Well then, you know, we moved to Colorado and then I decided to try to challenge myself with the Colorado Trail. And that's around 500 miles. Well, I tackled that over the course of five years and I hiked about 100 miles um, a week. And I wanted to see, well, do I really love this? Do I really love this enough to, to be out here all week and be out here in the backcountry and wilderness? Or am I just kind of a weekend warrior and enjoy my three, four day backpacking trips? Well, I loved it. <laughs> I loved hiking the Colorado Trail. It's been the hardest thing I've done to date, but it is one of the most satisfying um, accomplishments that I've had in backpacking. So once I finished the Colorado Trail, that's when I set my sights on, you know what? I think I want to push myself a little further and hike the John Muir Trail. You know, I'll be on the trail for a couple weeks and it's going to be a challenge. Like I said, it's going to be the most difficult, challenging thing I've ever done in my backpacking uh, career. So I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared, uh, but I am looking forward to this challenge and it's gonna be an amazing trip. So I decided to take a quick stop here at one of my favorite rest areas in Wyoming and that's Little America, the home of the 75 cent ice cream cone. And it has like a hotel, obviously a gas station, and just a lot of amenities for, for truckers. And, but they're, it's nice, you know, it's a nice place. It's got a lot of good grass for, and shaded trees for your dog. So I knew I was coming here today, I was gonna stop, uh, get gas uh, on my way um, on the road today. And so I thought I'd make a quick stop at Little America. Um, but I figure while I'm here, I can talk a little bit about the permit process. Um, for some of the stats that I've read, getting a permit at, you know, Yosemite National Park or Mount Whitney is less than 10%. It's extremely difficult. So if you get one of those, you are blessed. I did not get, I did not get one of those. Um, there's lotteries for those. I entered both of them and I didn't get into either one. But because of the, uh, the glory of YouTube videos, I found out about uh, different methods of getting a permit for the JMT. And that is through Horseshoe Meadows. And so it's, I found it on recreation.gov, the Inyo Forest, where you can uh, find permits that go over um, Cottonwood Lakes or Cottonwood Pass, and that hooks up with the JMT. Um, so if you can get a permit for that, for that area, then you can hike all the way to Yosemite National Park. Now it is an additional 20 miles until I actually hook up with the JMT. Um, but I've heard it's a beautiful section. Part of it is the PCT. So I'm looking forward to uh, hiking part of that. And I figure what's 20 miles <laughs> added on to 211. So I didn't think that was that big of a deal. But, so don't get discouraged out there. If you can't get the permit for Yosemite or the Mount Whitney portal, 
you know, just be diligent out there on the recreation.gov for that Inyo, I think it's Inyo uh, permit uh, wilderness area uh, over the Cottonwood Lakes or the Cottonwood Pass. There's two of them. There's two um, different entry points that you can come in and have a potential for getting a permit. And that permit will allow you to hike on the JMT all the way up through Yosemite. Uh, so that is what I will be doing. Now that I am back on the road, uh, let me talk a little bit about, you know, why I'm driving to uh, California. So for those who don't know, I live in northern Colorado and I've done this drive before. So I've been on a car camping trip with my family to Yosemite National Park and it's about a 16 to 17 hour drive and it's not too bad. A lot of it uh, most of it is interstate. Um, so it's really not too bad. And all the planning that I was doing, uh, looking at the option of, you know, maybe flying into Reno, renting a car, having to return it, you know, all that just seemed too big of a hassle that I might as well just go ahead and drive my car. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, so today is a uh, day one of me uh, beginning my travel. I'm going to have three days, three days of traveling before I even get on the trail because there are a lot of logistics uh, that are involved with getting to this trailhead. So again, I'm starting at the Horseshoe Meadows uh, trailhead and hiking over uh, Cottonwood Lakes. That's where I got my permit. But this first night, I am stopping in Salt Lake City, Utah. And that's about a seven hour drive uh, from my house. And so that puts me kind of in a good spot to um, get to Yosemite uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, I'll probably be waking up around, you know, 3.30, 4 o'clock, uh, trying to get on the road early because I'd like to get into Yosemite early afternoon because my second night reservation is at Curry Village. So I'm staying in Yosemite. Uh, really looking forward to that. Um, that seems like a cool experience. So I figure, hey, why not? I'm going to uh, get a reservation. So uh, tomorrow night, I will be uh, driving into Yosemite, staying at Curry Village, uh, checking in and just getting, you know, settled with, uh, for my upcoming trip. Now from there, what I'll be doing the day after that is I will be taking a shuttle that goes between uh, Yosemite and Mammoth Lakes. And that doesn't leave until probably 2.30 in the afternoon. So I'll probably do a hike. I think I'm probably gonna hike the, the Yosemite Falls hike that I hear so many great things about. Um, so I might do that in the morning before I even take off. But I have a shuttle that's going to take me from Yosemite all the way into Mammoth Lakes. And then I'll be staying in a um, hotel at Mammoth Lakes because that'll be getting in at that evening. And then the day after that is will be my first day officially on the trail, which is August 12th uh, on a Monday. Um, so there's another shuttle that takes you from Mammoth Lakes into Lone Pine and then once I get to Lone Pine I'll get there around 10 in the morning once I get to Lone Pine then I'll have a, uh, a shuttle driver which I schedule through uh, the Chamber of Commerce and it's a lady by the name of Kathleen who will be taking me from Lone Pine to the Horseshoe Meadows uh, campground so I'll be parking my car at Yosemite National Park in, at Curry Village so that's where I'll be leaving my car. And I like the fact that when I'm done with my hike, I will have my car, I'll have a nice fresh set of clothes that I can change into, and I can just head on out. I don't have to worry about returning a rental or getting to the airport or, or anything like that. I feel like if I need to slow down on the trail that I can, uh, if I get done faster than I, than I was expected, then that's okay because my truck is sitting there waiting for me. 
So there's been a lot of uh, planning that's involved just trying to get to this trailhead. Like I said, I'm traveling through Wyoming, Utah, uh, Nevada, and then finally I'll be in uh, California uh, tomorrow. I have made it to my hotel here in Salt Lake City. So one thing I do want to mention before I sign off today is that you know, this is a different type of journey for me. I am typically a, a weekend warrior where I backpack for three or four days. That's generally what I do. I would not consider myself a through hiker. And I say all this because I may be using these videos as kind of like a, a vlog in the sense of you know, did you ever see the movie Castaway? You know, you have Tom Hanks and he's stranded on that deserted island and he has nobody to talk to, but he creates his friend Wilson out of the volleyball and he begins sharing his thoughts and his feelings and just, you know, everything he's going through on the island with Wilson. And so my DJI Action 4 camera is probably going to be my Wilson where I am just, you know, sharing my thoughts, sharing my feelings on how the trip is going, how I'm feeling, you know, everything that I'm experiencing on the trail. So, cause I'm sure I'm gonna go through a range of emotions while I'm on the trail. That's gonna do it for, for day one. Again, pretty uneventful day getting here to Salt Lake City and just looking forward to getting into Yosemite National Park tomorrow and checking in at Curry Village. I think that is going to be exciting. But let me go get some dinner and I will see you in the morning. Morning folks, we are back on the road. Uh, today started off early as I woke up around 3.30 this morning and got on the road around 4 and that's because I have around a 9-10 hour drive depending on traffic so I wanted to uh, hit the road early and you know get an early start and maybe beat some of the traffic heading into Yosemite. But right now I've been driving for about four and a half hours and I'm somewhere in middle of nowhere Nevada you know I'm in one of those places where like the next gas station is 150 miles so you better be ready for that um, but today I'll be driving into Yosemite National Park hopefully sometime early this afternoon uh, I'll be checking in to Curry Village and then just kind of exploring uh, Yosemite Valley a little bit and uh, resting up this afternoon. So that's really all that's on the agenda for today. So I've got a few more hours of driving, but um, I will see you next in Yosemite National Park. We have finally arrived at Yosemite National Park and I just checked in to Curry Village and now I'm going to go check out my yurt. All right, I am yurt 430. Here we go. That is awesome. All right, let me give you a little tour. First, we got a bear box. So any food or scented items that you have have to be in there. They can't be in the truck. They can't be in the yurt or it will attract bears so all scented stuff goes in there I got a heated yurt not that I need one because it is 90 plus degrees out there it's like a full-size bed a light power outlet safe place to hang some clothes and that's about it pretty simple so Curry Village is pretty cool. Um, I got in around one o'clock uh, from Salt Lake this morning and 
that drive, <laughs> once you hit the east gate of Yosemite National Park, driving down to the valley floor, it's a little over an hour uh, to get down here. I didn't think it was, I don't remember it taking that long, but it took a little over an hour to get down here. Um, and then once I got here, I was a little early, went ahead and uh, checked in and then just started exploring Curly Ridge a little bit. Looks like there's a dining hall, gift shop, ice cream parlor, uh, coffee place, so really all the kind of stuff that you want here in this little uh, village area. The plan for the evening is I think I'm going to have an early dinner. It's not quite five o'clock yet, but I really didn't have lunch. I just kind of snacked on some chips uh, on the way here. So I think what I'm going to do is go down to the dining hall where there's air conditioning because it's like 90 plus degrees out here and get me something to eat and then I think I'm gonna go see some of the the major sites here with the Sun setting on the rocks Great way to end uh, the day and <laughs> my trip hasn't even begun yet. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful, beautiful here in Yosemite. At the checkout by 11, my shuttle arrives at 2.30 to take me to Mammoth Lakes where I'll be staying at tomorrow. And yeah, we're getting closer and closer uh, to my trip. Being here in Yosemite is making it feel more real, getting a little more nervous, but it is going to be, if there's anything like today, it's going to be fantastic. So looking forward to it. All right. See you in the morning. Morning, folks. It is day three of my saga journey to the John Muir Trailhead. Um, I'm taking a shuttle today to Mammoth Lakes and but that doesn't leave till 2 30 this afternoon so I decided to uh, get up this morning and go check out uh, Glacier Point I was gonna do the Yosemite Falls hike but there's no water flowing really so um, I know this is a beautiful view and um, one of my favorites in the entire park so I thought I would go and check it out So that is Upper and Lower Yosemite Falls, <laughs> and you can tell that it's not uh, it's not flowing uh, very much at all. Almost looks like you can see the trail hiking up through there, and that would would have been really cool. But need to get here in early spring to to really appreciate these waterfalls. What a wonderful view 
of Half Dome and the entire Yosemite Valley. You have views of, you know, Vernal Falls, Nevada Falls, Upper and Lower Yosemite Falls, El Capitan. Uh, you can see Curry Village. You can just see everything from up there. And it's just a fabulous place uh, to visit. It's about an hour from the, the valley floor. I think it's only about 30 miles. Um, so it's not too bad. But definitely a beautiful spot and one you should visit if you're here in Yosemite. view I uh, just parked my truck at the uh, trailhead parking for the John Muir Trail and I'm glad that I got there when I did it was a little before 10 in the morning and there was like one or two spots left it was completely uh, booked because that's a very popular trail it's got the mist trail Vernal Falls, Nevada Falls, up to Half Dome, very popular trail. But I have uh, my backpack on, I've got my hiking clothes that I'm, I'm going to be having on, and so it's beginning to get more and more real. So what I'm going to do now is head back to Curry Village and just wait. <laughs> my shuttle doesn't leave till 2.30, so I'll probably have some lunch in the dining hall and and then catch my yard all the way to Mammoth Lakes. All right, see you on the bus. After a four hour bus ride, I have finally arrived here in Mammoth Lakes. So I arrived here around, you know, 6.15, 6.30, and I'm staying at the Shallow Inn. So the Shallow Inn is one of the stops here in Mammoth for yards. And so that made it super convenient. And the bus stop for the Eastern Sierra Transit Authority bus company, the, the bus that I'm taking tomorrow, is just around the corner. So it was a really convenient place for me. And I think I'm going to end this video um, here in Mammoth Lakes. Because tomorrow, all I really have is another bus ride from Mammoth Lakes to Lone Pine. And then I have a driver taking me from Lone Pine to the Cotton, Cottonwood Lakes trailhead where I'll begin my journey tomorrow hopefully around noon. Um, so I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Uh, you don't need to see me <laughs> riding on a bus. Um, I did just want to you know create this video to explain some of the logistics that I've gone through. There are a lot of moving pieces whether you're taking your own car or you're flying in and renting a car, whether you're starting from you know, the northern terminus, which is Yosemite National Park in the valley, or the southern terminus, which is Mount the Mount Whitney portal. Um, there's just a lot of things to consider. Uh, so hopefully this video may have helped a little bit, or at least been a bit uh, entertaining with some of the sights that I've seen along the way. But tomorrow's a big day. Um, you know, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm excited, I'm anxious, I'm terrified, because uh, it is a different adventure. I'm trying to get a different mindset for this trail over the next uh, 16 days, I believe, that I'll be hiking the JMT. But it's gonna be awesome, and I'm looking forward to it, and you'll start seeing those new set of videos rolling out here real soon. But before then, thanks for watching.